We have got to build our dinette seating. We got the flooring down. It was on way back order, but then it came in a week, over a week early. Well, okay, it's here. We got it laid down. You saw that. But anyway, so I've got to make the dinette seating. You know, I always say the old dinette seating, but for me, it never, like this curve, you, sometimes you just can't recreate it even though you trace something. So that curve really depends on how long we can come out this way. So the old seat that comes up here, little brace right there, I measured off of it and uh, the seat is going to sit, the wood's going to sit at about 11 and a half. 11 and a half. And uh, so I marked out 11 and a half right here so I know how high to go on the bump out. You know, that's where you're going to get, you know, two, three, four inches right there. But the door is going to slide right here. So really, I could come right up to the door. I could come right up to it. And I'm going to build that out of half inch. That's what they used at the factory. So we're going to build that out of half inch. So whatever our measurement is, it's going to be minus a half an inch. Because i got to get this upholstery made, so I need to know how long. I already know how wide, because we got to go 75 inches to make the bed. So, hey, if you're getting any kind of value, would you click the like, the subscribe, ring the bell? Leave me a comment, I'm begging you. Be like Tall Dude, or Old William, or BJ and NZ, or Old Karen even. Leave me a comment. Those are nice people. Be nice like them. All right, here we go. So, let me go all the way to the bump out right here. That's pretty level. Hey, that's pretty good. Because I did measure my cushions. My cushions are 34. 34. So, we're going to be able to go 34. So, yeah, there's a little margin of error. I could go, so if my cushion is 34, that's right here. I put that little half inch in there. I'm going to go three quarters just to be safe. You know, it doesn't hurt to have a little bit of extra. So, I'm going to I'm gonna be just fine right here. I'm going to have a little bit off the door. It doesn't matter, but it's going to be off the door just a little bit. So, we got exactly what we needed which I was a little worried we wouldn't, but we do. We don't have to cut down any cushions. We just got to get uh, everything upholstered. Brand new upholstery. Looks, it, uh, it's that tweed, the tweed. A lot of people go on the tweed. I really highly recommend it. I just think it looks so nice. It doesn't overtake anything on your interior. The tweed really doesn't. It just enhances. Just a little sizzle on the steak. It's not the steak. A little sizzle on the steak. All right, let's... Uh, what am I even talking about? Let's get out here and let's, let's build some dinette seats. Here's our seat. This is the door side. Uh, the door side. So, I'm just going to trace this out real quick. And I'm really thinking about eliminating this. How it, how it uh, ducks in there like that, that angle. I don't really like it. I don't really think it's important to the build. I've seen lots of other people build their Scotties without putting that in. I never have, but I think I'm gonna try it this time. Maybe just a little angle, maybe no angle, I don't know. All right, so I've got this one. Now, next thing I gotta do is build the not the door side. So, the difference is, the difference is there's no top up here on the not the door side so i'm just going to what am i going to do i think i'm going to come down no that's not flat that's not flat maybe i come down here way back here no not enough not enough huh well instead of boring you with this i'm going to do this i'm going to trace it i'm going to cut it out and i'll show you what i did all right, I got it laid out, and I got it cut out. Here's the door side. Ta-da, there's the not the door side. Pretty great fit, I didn't do bad first try. They're gonna, they're gonna work out just, just fine. Now, just a little bit ago, I was just having trouble figuring out the way I wanted to do it. The reason 
is because you see this wood right here, another piece over here. This is, and that, is what we cut the walls out of. So this is great wood. We can use this for almost anything on the interior that requires half inch. So why I was getting a little wheels turning on where I cut these out is because I want to reuse as much as I can. So I, there's gonna be a door, a cabinet door that I'll get out of here. There's at least one here and maybe one here. So that's the reason I was doing that and trying to think about it so hard because if I, if I reuse that for this and for cabinet doors and for whatever, that doesn't cost the customer anymore. See, if I can be a good steward of the customer's money and, you know, I saved however much here. And then I save more and save more. I mean, this these, this plywood is like 60 something, 70 bucks. I do not want to go and buy another $70 piece of plywood just to build these benches. And then the customer is like, hey, that's kind of expensive for benches, isn't it? Yes, it is. But we didn't spend that. So we could try to keep our costs down as much as we can so the customer can get out there camping without spending every last dime they have. That's why I was be a little weird about it. So what I've got to do now is I've got to remember that this is the door side and this is the side that's actually going to go to the curve on the front and I'm going to start building out from here. And then I will put a piece of quarter inch. Now if you remember, we saved somewhere. I saved the quarter inch as well. And I also saved the Luan from the ceiling. Where did I put that? I was thinking about it. Here it is. So every time, look at that. That's one, two, three. That's four sheets that I saved. And I actually think that I'll be able to use half of this to go on the front of that and have to go on the not the door side. And then I can use more of this half inch for the seat that you sit on. So this is all, well actually let me show you this too. Let me show you real quick. I don't know if you saw these just sitting around here. Now when we were building the frame, we had to cut that one by, or one by four down to two inches. That left these pieces. Well now those can be the pieces right here that stick out right there. And there might be enough just in these two sticks at least to build this. Plus we're going to need that piece on the front that the dinette's going to sit on, the dinette table's going to sit on to make a, make a bed out of the front dinette. So by saving all this, I don't know how much I saved, but it's, it's going to be a lot. I don't know. I think it's a good idea. So I'm going to get these uh, kind of tacked in, tacked together, and uh, I'll show you what I'm doing when I get there. Let me take you through this. Now remember, this was all the leftovers. This is kind of framed in for right now. I did, however, We discussed that panel. That panel is going to go right there in the front. And that's classic Scotty right there. That is classic Scotty styling. That little curve down to the front there. So that's just the things that we discussed earlier that I had left over. This is costing the uh, customer no extra. Now, I have got to put a solid panel right here then a hinged panel right here because this is on the door side and we want that to open like that and then we'll have a little storage down here now on the other side the not the door side i'm probably going to make that electrical so that'll all be just one little kind of it'll look more or less like this but it's just going to be the where the electrical box goes all right i'm going to get going i'm going to finish this up and i'll show you all about it 
All right, I've got all the woodwork done on it. Really just waiting on the uh, wood putty to dry. Kind of sand it down and I'll take that last sanding on it. And then I'm going to paint it the color that which I think is a bit of sugar that the customer wants. I've got the hinges on the top. I'm gonna open up like that. And I really do like this straight. I like that better than I do that angle. I'm glad I did that. I think that for my taste, I think it looks a lot better and it's a lot stronger. It really is. There's kind of a little rear view there. And all that will be uh, nailed or screwed into the camper, into the walls here in the front and down the spine here, here, there, and there. So it's going to be real, real hefty. So there it is. You'll see it at the reveal when I get it painted and installed. Well, I changed my mind. I felt pretty good about these, so I want to show them to you. They're not painted, obviously. This one I kept a full, because we're putting a full top on it. It's not hinged. It just sits there. Those blocks keep it in place. And that's where we're going to put the electrical. That's the electrical. Then back over here. That's the other seat. See how that's squared off? I think it looks great. I'm gonna do it like that from now on unless the customer says not to. But anyway, just wanted to show off a little bit because I'm just kind of proud of them and uh, I hope you like them.